Welcome to a new episode of Testing and Learning. Uh, for this episode, I wanted to do a video about an idea I had for something. A lot of people use on, on, on YouTube and other places a lot of cut-ins, but they most of the time do them with, you know, like movie clips or stuff like that, which I don't see how they get shut down, don't get shut down or their clips demonetized or whatever. Because, like, I seem to have a clip of something and like I'll automatically get mine done but whatever I don't really care about that as much as like I decided to do my own with my own characters if I'm going to use just to do little quips or, or, or an image of somebody flipping somebody off or anything like that why not promote my own characters so Anchor is a character of mine that's uh, I, I've grown really attached to and he's kind of become the icon character of the Tin Universe. It used to be pulpy in a lot of ways, but now I think it's uh, Anchor, and it had a lot to do with me, you know, promoting up to, uh, which was supposed to be the first full web season of The Real Trees, which didn't happen because of COVID, and I won't get into it again because probably not good for my anxiety. <laughs> Either way, but, uh, so I decided to do these little cut-ins using him like that. Uh, so I got all my files here and I thought it'd be neat to show you some how I've gotten to this place and the first thing I've used and show you these were all clips also so you can take a look at them and see what you think and yeah. So like basically years ago when I was doing season one of The Real Trees which were very short episodes and they were mainly about me testing the fix as I was trying to learn some of them. Which, like, looking back, these would have probably been, if I'd had a TikTok more, they would have probably been TikTok videos instead of YouTube videos. And also, most of this stuff would probably been on testing and learning instead of full episodes. But, anyways. Uh, so, I, I, at one point, I wanted to do, this is before I knew how to do green screening and all, I wanted to do thought bubbles with him sometimes. And it would be basically like, you know, him talking to, like, as in the comic or something. So I got these online, uh, some of these thought bubbles, and then I, I just put a green screen behind them, you know what I mean, and put them up. So I did this with a few things, uh, like there's no one here. And just a couple of different ones to throw in for that episode and they worked all right you know basically looking back on them I, I could have did a lot better with them but of course then I was just mainly testing stuff and everything else and what I ended up doing was let me show it real quick this was the real trees episode uh, five of season one thought bubble theater and I thought I'd play up like spellings because everybody did it online, especially when you're first starting it. And you first learned that a lot of graphics programs and stuff, even though they have text, they don't have <laughs> spelling or any kind of check on stuff. But like, so this is kind of a play on all that and fun stuff. Uh, so I'll let you check this out and then we'll talk about it. <laughs> I don't even use that anymore, likes and shares. I think I accidentally deleted that file, that's the reason why I never use it anymore. Uh, and of course you get all the credits here. Uh, 
one of the things when I did this was I wanted, of course, play up on misspelling and said another thing. But also, I was not comfortable at all speaking and stuff very much. So I thought this was a play that he accidentally cast the spell and he you can't hear him speak for a while. It's only the dolphins, but that was just me playing around with that and. Like, I tried to get it with that video, I tried it and bring it up again and pause it. So, the look I was going for here was old, low rent 80s sci fi stuff. And I grew up in the 80s with video stores, and one of the uh, more cool things was seeing so many bad movies. Because that video, one of the boosts that a lot of people don't know is when they did that, a lot of people not only got to discover older movies that you had to see at a theater before, but a lot of people were creating more really, really low budget films. And a lot of times, those were the stuff I wanted to rent. When I seen those really messed up, weird looking covers or weird titles, uh, I wanted those type things and I've always wanted that feel to be with my stuff more uh was that almost weird thing and like if, if you look here with this image you also get like how I had no idea how to do proper letterboxing type stuff I had no idea uh how to just audio like even though I like that that like, hollow echo drip like I should have toned it a bit I didn't paste these dialogue boxes out well enough what I should have did is let them linger more since the character is basically being moody anyways I could have let them linger more and people could have read them more and like uh so overall that's still but the point was was I was making the balloons and they I think they turned out good I I didn't polish this stuff around the edges because I think it actually makes it look better that way uh but that was my first time using like this type of thing. It's hard to get stop see. That's how fast they go by. Is like I should have let it, like linger on it more. But anyways, after like I got my new computer and stuff, I, I had this idea, like I said, about doing these meme things because I see everybody else's memes, and I was like, why well, can't and I still don't know how to do this because I haven't really researched it at a time. But how could I get my own figure of memes? But it, even if I can't get them on me on archives and shit, I get I could at least create my own. So I spent a day doing a bunch of these, and I got a lot more I want to do. Uh, just taking some quick green screen footage of me, and then I had some footage when we went to Tampa to the Dolly Museum because nearby. They have an area which has these like really anti uh cruel benches which are anti homeless people and i wanted to do something but it's a very simple video of me just saying you know like fuck this shit it's bullshit you know, that's what it is but i thought like well why don't the first time i test doing some of stuff why don't i throw something in so i created this one which is basically you see in all these memes where somebody's just pointing up, basically saying this, or, you know, and they put something above it. And I thought, oh, that would be cool. One to do my first one with, and then I ended up creating this TikTok, which you can find on, uh, well, go back a little bit. You can find The Real Tree Season 1 here on our YouTube channel and check on the playlist. Uh, but also, like, you can find my TikTok, it's under 10 Universe. I call the TikTok ticked off. Uh, but I decided to create this one. And this was four or five ago, I guess, on my TikTok. I don't do TikToks as nearly as much as you should do to keep up numbers and shit on it. Plus, I, get, I keep getting shadow banned because I piss people off. I'm sorry. Uh, but, like, so I created Don't ever this. mistake this type of architecture. Let me start that back in case you haven't seen it. Let me shut up. Don't ever mistake this type of architecture and so-called public planning as anything else for violence against homeless people. So I think it all turned out pretty good. 
this burn it down was actually I found this on TikTok with their um, their their I guess gifs or emojis or whatever you want to call them. Like so, I I I put this you know green screen, put it here, very simple, and then I put this above it. But this was the type of thing I thought I could do with these, and they would be cool. So so now you know where I'm coming from. So here's what I I, I want to do, and I'm not going to talk about these. I'm just going to like put a bunch of them up here for you can see during the video, and maybe talk about them afterwards. So I think this. Let me see. Yeah, I don't label stuff as correctly as I should. I know this. Uh, da, 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 da. This one's on here twice for some reason. So, I think this may be the first one. Oh, thank no spiders or anything in this. I haven't put this on in a while. It's true, I haven't put it on in a long time. Ever since the show got canceled, I don't think I've put it on. People saying like, oh, dry cleaning and stuff like that. I don't want to lose my blood stains. Yeah, those blood stains I paid for them. I had to scrub blood off for like four days. Because I bought the wrong kind for theatrical stuff. So that's basically what I wanted to do with all this was like have something fun, have something creative and just go with that and um, and this one does the simple just point up one finger and then I did both fingers and this is of course the one I used for that. I just gotta make one of the second finger one too. Me trying to do a Rob Van Dam, but I forgot this was over here, so I'm gonna have to rotoscope that out. One of these days, I'm gonna put padding in. Yeah, I'll probably never put padding in any of my masks because I'm stupid and ignorant. How many people are gonna get the Barry Horowitz facts lab done? <laughs> And for people that have followed me for a while, yes, I do have a big green screen, portable one, but this is on my wall for doing quick stuff when I don't have much time. This works pretty good. And how come, even though I'm doing like chest up, I still look frumpy in these things? I don't know. I think that's self-explanatory, but not very, <laughs> I don't think I did it very well. And when you got gloves on and facial, you can't do it like really good facial expressions. It kind of doesn't work. And basically it's going to be me. Yeah, I'm going to use these a lot for answering things when I say something or there's a mistake I make that I see and edit. I'll go back and instead of re-editing the whole thing, maybe add these things in. Oh, I didn't really have to do that. But you get the gist of the idea, like, for what I was trying to do. Hopefully this will add a little bit more to my videos. Uh, that sometimes I think are way too simple compared to other people, especially the background in videos with me talking, and then I still don't have the setup light-wise that I would like to have. Uh, I don't know if you can hear me like lean forward and rub on my desk. That's called anxiety when you're doing a video. Um, but uh, hopefully these will add some. And they're really fun to do. Just fucking booing around and shit like that. So I hope you enjoyed this little look into me doing something recently. And I hope these pop up and stuff more. And I hope people enjoy them. So I'll see everybody later. Hope you're having a good time. If you're in Florida or anywhere where the storm's hitting right now, stay safe as always. Hey, did you hear my laundry just went off? I gotta do that too. Crap.